The Manipur issue is mired in silence and in the government's whataboutery and false equivalences. I will point these out as best as I can. The Treasury bunches have made vitriolic comments on why only Manipur? What about the instances of rape and murder in Rajasthan, in Chhattisgarh, in West Bengal? We in turn have felt compelled to ask, what about the violence in Haryana? I want to tell this house that Manipur is different and I will tell you why. The issue in Manipur is of a hate crime against a particular community where it is understood that police personnel of one community, possibly the same community as the Chief Minister, handed over women of another community to be raped and pillaged by a mob and made every attempt to prevent those women from seeking justice. The issue is that two communities today in Manipur have been pitted against each other in an atmosphere of civil war, of ethnic violence that has rarely been seen in India in the past few decades. 6,500 FIRs in three months. Which state has seen this? 4,000 houses, no, no, no. 4, wait, wait, wait. houses no, no, no. destroyed in three months. Which state has seen this? 60,000 people displaced. 2% of the state's population. Which state outside of wartime or natural calamity has seen this? 150 people dead in three months. Which state has seen this? 300 places of worship destroyed. Which state has seen this? An armed standoff between the Manipur right, uh, State Police and the Assam Rifles captured on video. One controlled by the Minister of Home Affairs, other controlled by the State Police. Which state has seen this? 5,000 firearms and 6 lakh bullets looted from police stations by mobs. Which please, state please. has seen this? Please, please, Two please. ethnic groups armed to the teeth. A buffer zone between where hill cannot go to valley and valley cannot go to hill. Which state has seen this? The chief supporter supports one group, accuses the other of being drug runners. In truth, over 15,000 acres of poppy have increased in cultivation in the past five years. 250 square kilometers of forest land has reduced under this chief minister's watch. Which state has seen this? Only Manipur. No other state. Only Manipur. So stop your whataboutery. Stop your false equivalences. Address the problem, Honorable Prime Minister. We haven't heard of one change in the police force. We have not heard of one change in the government. We have not heard of one person taking responsibility. As a government in the center, which is also ruling the state of Manipur, this is your biggest failure of the double engine Sarkar. So let us not insult other states by saying, what about Rajasthan? What about Haryana? What about Chhattisgarh? Manipur is a tacitly approved hate crime. Make no mistake, this is civil war. These are crimes against humanity. The harsh reality is while this government may have built infrastructure, it has destroyed institutions. And I will be doing an injustice to my role in parliament if I don't call this out. In Manipur, Please. the BJP's majoritarian bravado is destroying a state and tearing apart its people. I don't want to make this about politics. But Honorable Prime Minister, if you're listening, I beg you on behalf of the people of Manipur, change the administration. Allow all parties to work together to mediate a truce. Otherwise, even after your term ends, India will echo in one voice as to what went so terribly wrong in Manipur with such terrible consequences for our country. Jis papi ko gun nahi gotra pyara hai, samjho usne hi hame yaha mara hai. India has lost confidence in you. The spectacle of the Prime Minister of the greatest democracy bowing to a religious seers of a majority in the chamber of a new parliament fills us with shame. Police manhandling and filing FIRs against champion wrestlers what is this? against hey. a BJP MP accused fills us with shame. Fifty panchayats in three districts of BJP ruled Haryana issuing letters forbidding Muslim traders entering the state fills us with shame. Nafrato ki jang ne ab dekho kya kya ho gaya. Sabziya Hindu hui, bakra Musliman ho gaya. No, madam. You are creating it in every state. No, no, no. We are Prabhi. not one minute. We are not going to be bullied. One crony capitalist is not going to make a monkey out of India's regulators and equity markets while we watch. Mamta Di is not scared. Mr. Stalin is not scared. Akhilesh Ji is not scared. Rahul Gandhi is not scared. A 37% vote share party can only prevail if the rest of us 63% are shared. Yes. And we are not. This time we will take you on and we will win.
Thank you. I hear the illustrious BJP members of the House. Thank you, ma'am. Well, last, last paragraph. Sir, last, sir. Last, uh, last paragraph. Yeah. Uh, I hear the BJP members praising their own, and I quote from the Gita: "You have the right to labor only, and not to the fruits of labor." Everyone asks, if not Modi ji, then who? This inaction on Manipur, Honorable Prime Minister, where you had absolute power to intervene but did not. is a cornerstone after which india will say anyone but modi thank, thank you. you very much thank you ma'am